Top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani was popular among many in Iran, but was considered a dangerous threat to the US by President Donald Trump. That was the justification for a drone attack on Soleimani's convoy as he left Baghdad airport on January the 3rd, killing him and Iraqi commander Abu Mahdi al mohandas among others. A killing that's been called unlawful by UN investigator Agnes Kalamal. The special rapporteur on extrajudicial killings said in a report on Tuesday, in light of the evidence that the US has provided to date, the targeting of General Soleimani and the deaths of those accompanying him constitute an arbitrary killing for which under international human rights law, the US is responsible. This attack is, is different from all the drone strikes the United States has engaged in because it targeted a senior figure in the Iranian government. So whatever you want to say about uh, Soleimani's uh, history and his alleged uh, offenses against the United States and other countries, he was a senior figure in the Iranian military and we killed him uh, at a time when we're not at war with Iran. So it seems like uh, an act of war against Iran or, uh, under other definitions, an assassination. Soleimani was the leader of the Quds Force, the overseas arm of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. He helped strengthen Iran's ties with the armed group Hezbollah, backed Bashar al-Assad in Syria, and his forces played a key role in fighting ISIL in Syria and Iraq. But on Trump's accusation that Soleimani was planning to attack US targets, he was legally justifying an attack based on self-defense. Kalamar says there was insufficient evidence provided of an ongoing or imminent attack. Kalamar says a killing by an armed drone violated the UN Charter, meaning it was breaking international law. Donald Trump had pulled the US out of the Human Rights Council in 2018. The report would be presented to it on Thursday. The U.S. may well largely ignore it, but as Kalamar points out in her report, it may lead to international pressure for greater regulation of targeted killings by armed drones. Laura Burden-Manley, Al Jazeera.